Good afternoon, everyone. It's Elise. It is November 2nd. The year is 2011. And life right now does not suck as much as it did yesterday. I'm going to talk about um, one thing right now, the comfort quilt, and then I'm going to do another video because I'm only allowed a certain amount of time <clears throat> where I want to read a blog that somebody wrote about the comfort quilt. So it's all about the comfort quilt. I know that I haven't been talking about anything um, disgusting. I haven't talk of, talked about my gas or my menstrual cycle or anything like that. Not that I'm not having those things happen, because actually I am. But we're not going to talk about that right now. The um, Comfort Quilt is a project my daughter started. Um, her father, my husband, has cancer, was diagnosed in February of an incurable cancer and um, I didn't really have a full understanding of it in February um, we were on a trial medication which did not work there is no um, medicine for his cancer unfortunately because not enough people get it and I don't have enough money to fund research on my own but I will find a way to make um, this go away um, so we found out on, um, today is Wednesday, last Tuesday, that the cancer has spread, um, and it's causing him an enormous amount of pain, and I thought that actually cancer doesn't hurt. I thought that, like, I don't know, I thought you don't feel it, but because of where it's located, it's actually causing him excruciating pain that... I can't even begin to tell you. I don't even want to see, um, <clears throat> but I do have to see it, and I have to live through it. My husband's living through it, and so will I. So the comfort quilt uh, started with family and friends, and they would uh, sign fabric. It expanded to celebrities, and they're starting to come in. So what happens is, and I'm going to show you an example. This is an example. Ooh, it's transparent of um, what a comfort, what a piece of fabric looks like that's signed. This one is signed by Greg Chamatoff. He was on space shuttle missions 124 and 134 and he was in the space station expedition 17 and 18. And he wrote uh, with love and thoughts about your beautiful family and then signed his name. And what we will do is we will then um, gather them all together and have them sewn together I made into a quilt for my husband, um, which then, um, uh, after, um, well, whatever, my three children will have one quilt to fight over. So, obviously, I'm causing trouble before, whatever. So, it's very exciting. Um, Michael Douglas is uh, coming in next week. So, what I need for you to do for me, even though you don't know me, is I need you to send this off. Like I need you to repost it on Facebook, MySpace, tweet this, whatever. I just saw this video, Charlie bit my finger, Charlie bit my finger, Charlie bit my finger, Charlie stop biting my finger. Okay, and I get it and it was cute and I understand that cats play pianos and stuff like that and I understand that they're funny. And there was that girl who I love who did the FU sign language thing that got like 22 million things. And I understand that those are funny. I understand that those are good. This is important. This is for my kids. I know that you don't know us. And I know that um, it's not really that funny. I can't really make cancer funny. I know that there's the movie 50-50 that I haven't seen yet. Um, but in that movie, the guy didn't have, he wasn't married and didn't have kids. So once you're married, it gets less funny. And once you have kids, cancer really is not funny especially when it's not curable so my nine-year-old twins and my baby who is 15 months old our baby our, 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 um, are counting on you to pretend this is fun and funny pass this on because what's happening is I got an email from somebody my mom went to high school with who said my friends my friends sisters son works for a production company or owns a production company in LA. My other friend Kelly said my 
brother's sister-in-law knows an author. So it's like, you know, Kevin Bacon kind of things. Um, so I know somebody out there knows someone who knows Shania Twain who can get her to come to the Chateau. I know this. I know it for a fact. So that's what I have. It's five um, minutes, 22 seconds, and my I'm looking behind me. Adelaide? You want to come here and say hi? Sure. Okay, hurry up. Okay. So this is the inspiration. Um, this is impromptu, so I don't know what she's going to say. Okay, wait, which way are you going? Okay, so you have to be here so they could see your face. Okay. She, okay. So, see what you look like? <clears throat> so you got to look up here. Pretend that, yep, so they can see that you're looking at them. So this is my daughter. She is the one who... Um, decided that it would be a good idea to do something for her dad. So, what would you like to tell these people about the comfort quilt? That it was really big for me to uh, do it, and I think my dad's going to be like um, saying, well, my dad's been snooping around the house trying to find stuff, uh, and so I think he's I think he's thinking that it's something that has like friends or something and um, if he knew that we were doing it he would probably think we were doing all of our friends and like one celebrity so I'm saying that uh, you guys should keep looking and I really appreciate it and how do you um, like how does it make you feel to know um, like that people are doing it look at the green light I think it's like really. God, I look terrible. <laughs> I think it's really. In... Like, why is it important to you? Do you think? Because everyone's trying to do the best that they can, and I think that it's really good that people are trying to do it. And I think that people who spend more time doing stuff like for us and for other th families too whose parents who have cancer um, should stop looking on their computer doing Facebook and start helping out because they really need you there and they need uh, your support mom well this is my baby and she's brave and she's smart and I love her so much. And um, we're fighters, right? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. So with that, okay, I'm going to go and then I'm going to do another video, which is separate, about the blog that um, I got that you haven't heard yet. Um, because it is kind of sad, so I'm going to read it out loud, because it's amazing. A man wrote a blog about um, me and my journey and my family, and I don't even know him, and it was amazing. So please, 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 say please. Please. <laughs> what do you want them to do? Watch the videos and, then, and do whatever you can. Right. So, see? Peace. Peace. We love you.